I'll tell you what guys, the intention was to come out here and film a nice little video on jerk baits and we're gonna have to cancel that. Temperatures dropped like 15 degrees in the last 25 minutes. We got like very little daylight, so we're not even gonna film with the big camera. We're just hopefully gonna catch some fish. Oh, there we go. I got one. I got one. <laughs> got a face full of weeds. Can't even see the jerk bait in all this. I feel like I'm about to get hooked. Do not shake, buddy. I can't see the hooks at all. Starting to see something. No, 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 no. None of that. Uh-oh. Crap. This is right through my glove. Okay, bud. We're gonna let you go. Because I don't want to get hooked. Little guy. This is a problem with gloves. And that's why I don't wear them that often. But it's cold. Oh my goodness. I might have to take these gloves off. I almost hooked myself like four more times. All right, there we go. I honestly thought a jerk bait would be good today. It's, what, two casts in? There we go. Hit it on the paws. Hit it on the paws. Guys, jerk bait fishing can be so much fun this time of year. Okay, bud. Trick bait fish. Oh no. Oh no. I'm stuck. Am I? Gosh, look at those little red lips. Little guy. Again. Oh no. I just hooked this fish again. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. Alright. There you go. Now go. That was really stupid of me. I threw that fish right back into the bait. Two fish. Four casts. That's a pretty good ratio right there. Long pause. Jerk, jerk, jerk. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. I felt a, a tap. All right. He's out there. There we go. There we go. That one, like the first one, hit it right after the first jerk after a long pause. Well, this is a better fish. Heck yeah. Oh, bud, 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 bud. You're going to break this line. That's a better fish. Heck yeah. That's not bad. All right, that's about a pound, pound and a half maybe. So that's, whoa, dude. That's one of the bigger fish I've caught here this year. This year has been a lot of males. That one hit it right off the paws. Makes me wonder how many fish are really out there. There's a fish. Oh, I missed him. Shoot. Yeah, I'm getting bit almost every single cast. Now let's try this again. So how to fish a jerkbait, guys. All right, so I cast that out there. I've got my little Shimano Aldebaran, St. Croix Mojo 6.8 Medium Light Extra Fast Tip. Oh man, I just got cranked. How did I miss it? I don't know if you saw that. All of a sudden my line was just gone. See, I don't even have to do any action and the jerkbait's getting them bit. That's crazy. All right, guys, the plan was we were going to film a jerkbait how-to video today, and then I got out here and thought, maybe I'm not going to. The weather is not great. It's super windy. I don't even know if you can hear me. It's really cold. I don't know if you can see my breath. But I just got out here, and the bite is hot. So I want you to watch what I'm doing because jerkbait fishing is super easy, and if you don't know how to do it, just watch this video. I'm going to show you how. All right, so we're going to cast it out there. And I like to reel up slack in my line and then give it three quick jerks, leaving slack in the line. And what I'm doing right now is I'm holding my rod to the side, and if a fish bites, I'm gonna feel it. Well, I would if my bait wasn't messed up. My bait's got a little bit of a problem. Oh man, I'm gonna hook myself. Okay, let's try that again. So cast that out. Three quick jerks, pause. Keeping very, very little pressure on the line. I'm not pulling it taut. Again, pause. I got a fish. Oh, nope. He bit it. There he is again. Oh, man. Now, you can do bigger twitches. You can do really little twitches. But I typically do that cadence. There was two. Three. And on the pauses, 
I'm keeping very light pressure because I'm trying to feel if something bites. It's the line is not taut. I think that's a easy thing to get confused. I'm not keeping that line taut. Okay, this one. I would be surprised if this is not a, a fish or at least a bite. Right there, I got a bite. Yeah, I got him. Okay. So right out in the middle. These fish are fight hard. I can't tell how big they are. Ooh. Ooh, man. This one's got a little bit of fighting him. There we go. As I was just saying, and I don't know if you can hear me at all, but I'm just casting out there and I'm getting hit on the pause, on the pause every time. And I know that's a weird feeling, but if you've got a sensitive enough rod and you keep just light enough pressure on that fish, you will feel him bite. And man, he is hooked good. Holy crud. He has one hook in him, that's it. Oh, he had two hooks in him, okay. So yeah, there we go. So I mean, we're at five fish here and we've been, we've been at this lake for maybe all 15 minutes. Sometimes I'll do four twitches, sometimes I'll do three. Key is, you gotta leave the line slack. It pauses that bait. It makes that bait just sit completely still. Interesting. Maybe we just cleaned up shop there. Went from getting bit every cast to... Nothing. Where'd you go, guys? I got one. Who's a little guy? <laughs> oh, I got another one. It's a toad. Dude, 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 dude. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, look at that guy. Setting records. So I keep really light pressure on that. Just kind of slowly kind of bringing the rod back with the bait as the bait's coming towards me with the current. So I'm not really keeping, keeping that line tight. I'm just keeping light pressure on it. Ooh, that wind. And again, you notice how I'm like perpendicular to my rod and my line. I mean, my rod is exactly sideways. There's a bite. Ooh, right here. Dang. You know, and guys, I'm throwing a Mega Bass Vision 110, which is at the extreme for prices. I mean, that's... It's not cheap. You don't have to throw this. We got some fish over there, which is honestly where I expected to catch some fish. It's slowed down, so we're gonna head over here. Oh. I think I should be ice fishing right now. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, no! I watched my line there. I saw my line suddenly going. That was, that was amateur hour. Never should. Sure. Never should have said it like that. Should have reeled into it. There we go. Oh no, we came off! Dang it. Eh. There we go. There we go. No! I think these mouths of these fish are freaking made of rock. How on earth did that fish come off? Just start washing my line more. Oh, there. Oh my god. This is craziness. There's bite. There we go. There we go. Alright. Little guy. But you get the point. These fish are out there. And I think this is why I'm having a hard time hooking them, is because they're small. I mean, look at that bait. That bait is half the size of that fish. Oh well. Okay, it's gonna get much colder and much darker in the next 10 minutes. That sun is now behind the trees. Look, if you guys have any questions about jerk bait fishing, leave a comment below because it's so straightforward. And this is the time of year to do it. It's cold water, windy. This is a perfect time of year to be throwing a jerk bait. This and late fall. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up tonight. So, honestly, go out and try jerkbait. 
You'll see why. It's going to be cold. You're, you're going to be cold. I'm sure of it. Sun up is going to warm up those fish, get them a little more active. You notice as soon as the sun went down, bite completely died. I mean, dead. So go out, the sun's out, go try jerk bait. Trust me. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I will answer you. I'm either liking, commenting on every single comment you guys leave me because it's awesome that you guys watch my videos and I appreciate it so, so much. So thanks for tuning in guys. This is gonna be a quick, short, little video uh, on how to fish a jerk bait, but I hope you learned just something, just, just the tiniest bit. And if you didn't, leave a comment below, let me know and, and I'll see what I can do. Take care guys. Thanks for watching again. This is Winnie CD Bassin signing out.